rubber duck, rubber duck, ladies and gentlemen. Hello everyone, so in the first couple seconds of the video, or like 30 seconds or so, the microphone is a little blown out. I turned it down, I fixed it as much as I possibly could, but it's not perfect. But about a minute and a half in, the microphone goes back to not being extremely annoying. I'm sorry about that. Rubber duck, rubber duck. Ladies and gentlemen, vlogging and driving, you know that's not a good idea. We're doing something we kind of try to do as often as we can, but we don't always get to do it because it's kind of hard to find time to do it or be able to get in. Honestly, we're gonna go look at some really cool cars because you guys really like it when we do that and you guys are telling us it helps you guys stay motivated. It helps us stay motivated. You guys know how important it is to stay motivated, especially with summer coming up, guys. I know a lot of y'all gonna be sleeping in. You're gonna, you're gonna be eating a lot. Not the best foods. I promise you, I'm not gonna be eating celery. I know that. For, I, I won't. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, hey, I'm not saying I will. Ice cream. It's ice cream I, it, It's ice cream season, ice cream 365 season. days of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, we're gonna go look at some really cool cars with my good friend, Nick Gilardi, because that's what I like to do, and you guys like to see it. And Gabrielle, listen, like guys. Some Instagram pictures, Gabrielle likes her Instagram pictures, today, and I like though, my cars. I'm looking a little bit under the weather. Gabrielle! You don't look under the weather. You're under the weather is my greatest day. So shut it. Look at all these Porsches. Look at all them chickens. Look at this big old handsome man, rosy cheeks and everything. But what are those, man? Those are actually pretty sick. Yes. Not gonna lie. So these are the Parleys, and this stuff is recycled the uh, plastic from that the oceans. Is so good. It's from the oceans. I think I saw those on. Not even 10 yeah. seconds. He's already stolen my girlfriend. Peace. Man, you guys know how much I love the GT3, but this color, man. Ooh, I'm creamy. You're like, oh, yes. Gabriel, if I pulled up in that, picked you up in front of your dad, he would definitely give me a firm handshake. You know what I'm saying, oh, baby? Oh, yes. He would be like, hello, Jack Brickman. I finally respect you. <laughs> Um, not sure what that was supposed to mean. Apparently, I'm not getting much respect over at the Moses house. Job. God, dude, the color on this thing is just sick on camera, too. I'm not much of an orange, like, car guy, you know? But this, this one, one is pretty sick. Gabriel, I can see you I in this like one, it. too. What a, what a vast variety of colors you got here. Did I show you the new Mustang? The new Mustang? Yeah. Uh, let me see the new Mustang. I haven't seen that one yet. Pop the hood on it. Dang. I was yeah. actually... It comes in red. It's a two, it's a two-tone. That's ordered, pretty nice, man. I ordered a couple of them. Just for clarification, we have no problems with Mustangs. A buddy of ours has a Mustang. He's always talking about it. We always harass him about we hate the car. We don't actually hate the car. We just have a buddy that I knew would watch this video, and I just wanted to, like, you know, be, be a jerk. You, you guys, you, you know me, guys. Okay, calm down. We don't actually have a problem with Mustangs. I don't want people coming for my throat. Okay, calm down. Babe, out of all these cars, which one would you want? If you could choose any one, you don't have, you don't have much of a choice with when it comes to color. Besides Nick, what car would you want? The most expensive one, which is right over there. The GT3 RS. Are you some kind of Jeffree Star, Gabrielle? What what is what are you trying to prove to I'm anyone? I'm not on that level. You're not, not on that level, close. Gabrielle. I'm we ain't even on a level to buy a new Honda Civic, but you're over here looking at that car. I'm dreaming. Is that? Do you have a problem with that? No, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, it's always super important to be motivated, working hard, have dreams. Jack, if you were to have any of these beauties in here. Which one would it be? Only one, not two. You, one. babe. <laughs> um, if I could have any car in here, I would probably go with that GT3. The just blue one? It's got the cool color. Oof, that um, color just makes me feeling, happy. If I was feeling, it depends on how, how, how frisky I'm feeling. If I was feeling a little bit friskier, probably that truck right there. Guys, maybe a car isn't the move. Maybe I just need to get kind of rebellious and do what my mom always told me to never do and get a bike. Can you imagine, do I look like a biker? Do I look like a bike kind of guy? Be honest, do I look like a bike man? So this, so this is a KTM, and that's a, a, du a Ducati made for race championships. Yeah. But um, I could find you a bike, like a mongoose. I'm going home. Best interior in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely fantastic. You put, you put a girl in here, oh, creamy. Absolutely creamy, ladies and gentlemen. Make no mistake, these bucket seats are not made just for sitting. They're made for 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 getting women, right? Yeah, kind of. No, roll with it. Me. Roll with it. Jack, roll I'm, with it, I'm man. So hard to find that funny. Ah, the holy grail of soccer moms. And Gabrielle, 
people who actually like candles. And people that like candles. I, I'm Both going, of us like candles a lot. I don't know what you're talking about. When I play video games at night, I like to have a nice candle next to me. He literally has his candles lit next to him. I'm like, oh. But my candles are always seasonal. They're always like cinnamon or like fall. Or, they're they're yeah, always red or orange. Kid. They literally always are. Anyways, it's my birthday this weekend and I have a twin, so we're going birthday shopping for her. Nothing like a twin shopping for their twin. So it's pretty much stuff that I want and if I don't end up giving it to her, I'm gonna keep it. Most of the stuff that we will be purchasing in this video will be kept by Gabrielle. Oh Lord, These Gabrielle's always trying to convince fragrance. me to use- No, because oh, I got you cologne for Christmas yes. that smells Heavenly and, and I've used it at least once you've only used it once. I said that hey hey, okay, babe babe That's that's cancer causing for sure. Hold on mm, That's mm, scrumptious. I just want to hug. Oh, you. yes anything that gets Gabriel close to my chest, baby I love it Gabriel. Come on. Hey, show us that show us that show us that show us that spin around. What is that? Ladies and gentlemen, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Fresh. What about this one, babe? What do you think about that I've one? I've already sprayed you with one, but this one is like my favorite. I'm already, I, I would try this one, but I've already like doused you in perfume. Babe, what about these? Bath bombs? Yes, everyone likes bath bombs. She doesn't have a bath in her dorm room. Hey, Gabriel, we both know that we're not here for Madeline. We're here for us. And we've never taken a bath together. Is that weird? Yeah. We should definitely, no. it's weird that we haven't. It's weird that you want to. That's sitting in, I don't want to sit yeah, in your Yeah, it's fill. sitting in your own filth. And Gabriel doesn't bathe. Gabriel's always like, let's take a nap after she's worked out hasn't showered in two days, and I'm like, uh, that's not a good idea. What are you talking about, Stop Gabriel? Stop it. I take my nap before I go work out, not Gabriel, after. just because you smell and look like Chewbacca doesn't mean we gotta be embarrassed, okay? I'm what? I'm feeling attacked. Babe, I can attack you. You're literally dragging me doing a bath and body works. <laughs> I can say whatever I want. That's the, that's the rule. The lady was like, oh my gosh, you guys are wearing matching shirts. I hate. Yeah, so we're checking out, and she was like, oh my gosh, I like that little play on. And then she started saying, like, what was what did she say, Ivriella? Yeah, she thought it was like. And we were like, yeah, 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 jackandgab.com, jackandgab.com, jackandgab.com. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't start harassing her, but it's always cool when we get complimented on our own merch, and they don't know. And they don't know it's ours. They don't know it's ours. They just think it's like normal. I was at Walmart with all my friends, and this old lady walked up to me, she's like, rubber ducky, rubber ducky. And I turned around thinking it's like one of you guys, and I'm like, that girl probably doesn't watch our video. She's in a wheelchair. And she was like, I need to get one of them shirts. What does that have to do with anything? That she's in a wheelchair. She was old. She oh, was like 80. Oh, like literally. Oh. I thought you just meant it was like a random lady who was just in a wheelchair. No, if you're in a wheelchair, you're probably gonna watch more YouTube. Yeah, that is true. Very so, true. Yeah, we gotta think about like a bored. scientist. So of course we had to stop at least one store wherever I, I would enjoy it myself you know, a little bit, you know? And look what we found. SpongeBob socks. But you know what? I don't need these because some of, one of you guys the other day sent us a pair of SpongeBob socks. So you know what? I'm gonna put these back and be the smart money man that I am. We've ran into a predicament where I cannot decide between my two favorite socks I've ever seen. We got Patrick, we got Patrick, and we got SpongeBob, and then we got Bill Nye the Science Guy. But look at the detail. Look at the quality. This is this Louis Vuitton? Is this what we're looking at right now? What is this? Did we get this at the coach? Are we in Florida again? What's happening? The, the detail, I'm not gonna lie, it's not as good, but it doesn't matter. It was SpongeBob and Patrick. So you know the decision I'm about to make, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Bill Nye might be the science guy. We finally found the necklaces. So now Gabrielle has to make a decision. One. Yes, because my sister loves necklaces and bracelets and that type of stuff. So I'm also going to get her that. And I also, it's at home. I have an eyeshadow palette for her because right now she uses this $5 eyeshadow palette that you can't even see the color unless you like layer and layer and well, layer. Well, that's not very Jeffree so Star I of her. that for her. I know. I actually did get her Je a Jeffree Star palette, which that's Good. funny. Is this More one truly best. the move, though, Gabrielle? I don't know. Because she likes layered. Yes, she, she layered. does like layered. I have noticed that. Ogres are like layers. Onions have layers. Wait, no. Ogres are like onions. Onions have layers. We've come to a conclusion. We got a necklace that is layered and rings because I took her rings and never gave them back. <laughs> hey, Gabrielle, that's a way to make up for it. Let me see the let's see the Netflix or the ne necklace. Necklace. Sorry, Gabrielle, we've been doing too much Netflix and chilling. She's gonna get her bling bling on. She's gonna, then, I know. She's Matthew. gonna drop a mixtape. That was oh a God. stupid overused joke. I take that back. <laughs> yee yee. So what do you think? These are the most fantastic things I've ever had. I won't lie to you guys. You know, back in the day, I used to think that water was what I needed in life to survive. Couldn't have been more wrong, ladies and gentlemen. I've decided now that it's, it truly is Dippin' Dots. Dippin' Dots are truly from the heavens above. Look at them, they're just heavenly poop shaped things. Cause it's chocolate, do you get it? It, it was supposed to be a joke. So Gabrielle walks up to me all excited and she's like, so we walk up to the food court and get free samples of the free chicken? Because we have two places, not just one, that give out the free chicken. It's like a little route you take. You do a circle, you walk out, you come back around, you do it again. Just, just keep going, keep going. Continue a circle. Babe, you know I love you. 
but you need something like this. You need some, you need a little bit of highlight like that too. That looks. Sick. I know. I actually do want to get that done. We should go do it together. I'll get my hair highlighted if you get your hair highlighted. Actually, oh my gosh, that's no, hot. No, no, no. I know. Um, uh, there's a hair place here in town that'll do our hair for free if we do want to do it. Wait, why? Because. Because we're YouTubers. Oh yeah, babe. I will happily get you shorts like that. Guys, should not have walked in here, but these are definitely me. I, I like know, floral, they're cool. Gabriel, and, they're black and, and Gabriel. Everything. Yeah, they match everything. They make you a little taller, you know. I think I'm you assuming. Need that. I can't decide if I want these as bad as I think I, I mean, do. If you if you end up going home and you don't want them, return them. Get them now. Treat yourself. Treat myself. Treat yourself. Yeah, but I just treated myself to some Dippin' Dots. What are you talking about? Treat yourself to some shoes now. I cannot make up my mind on these. Like, I really can't. I love them, but I don't want to spend more money on shoes. I don't even have that many pairs of shoes. I just don't like buying things I don't use, like, every single day. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, I get that. And I know I'm not going to wear these every single day. This is, like, pants only with, like, a rubber ducky crew neck, but summer's coming up. I'm not going to be able to wear these in the summer but most of the time. But they look so beautiful. Like, look at that. Party in the back, business up front. We didn't end up buying the shoes. I know I'm probably gonna get attacked for that. You're all gonna say, you're so stupid, you're so dumb. No, dude, I don't, I'm not trying to spend any money right now. And Gabriel didn't really spend too much either. Yeah, what, what'd you get, a candle and a, a necklace? A candle, a necklace, and then rings. Candle, a necklace, and she's a big Lord of the Rings fan. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to make this video. Um, one, because I felt like I had the opportunity to, because Gabrielle is super busy with homework. And I felt like, this is something that I wanted to say. So when you bec when when you're a super hot, attractive, cute, cheeky girl like Gabrielle is, it's hard not to attract attention from guys, which is understandable. I never I never didn't expect that at all. Um, but Gabrielle on her Instagram is constantly, constantly getting these like inappropriate pictures, and. I'm not gonna be like that dude that's like oh, like so like overbearing and protective and I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna fight everyone on the freaking planet because if I wanted to fight everyone that like DM'd my girlfriend, I'd, I'd for one I'd get my ass kicked but also I'd, it, that would take too much time, okay? But the thing is, it's really making her like uncomfortable. It's very strange and I'm not gonna sit here and like pretend that like that's just so like crazy and I don't see why you'd ever wanna do that. Like people, guys are just insane. Guys are just, they're fearless. They like, they're like, you know what? They shoot your shot. And for some reason they feel like that's the way to do it. And it's really, really, really strange. Like, we're gonna do this video where we, re we react to Gabrielle's DMs. And we, were, we went like through like, I'd say probably 30, probably like 30 to 50. And like three of them were just like disgusting. And Gabrielle was like, like, <laughs> Gabriel was like, I bet, because you know when you DM someone and you haven't accepted the DM yet, it's like, like blurred or like you can't look at the picture until you accept it. And Gabriel was like, I bet this is a dirty one. Do you want to see and check? And I was like, no, I don't want to. I don't care. I care, but I don't want to get involved with that. But people need to stop doing that. Not only to my girlfriend, but to other girls as well, because it's just messed up. No one wants to see that, especially the girl that you're sending it to. I promise. I promise. I don't know what goes through a dude's head where his ego is just screaming, I have to send this person a disgusting picture and then they'll, they'll like me, they'll be interested. This will work, this will work. Like I don't, I've never, fortunately I never went through that phase. Um, but yeah, this has become like, it's because it wouldn't have been such a big deal if it was easier to ignore and we, I really just always did. But it was the fact that we were literally sitting there trying to film a video and couldn't because I was getting really grossed out and uncomfortable because I was like, like this is just wrong like you shouldn't be doing this um, like think about it this way let's say you have a girlfriend okay and every day on her DMs she's getting these pictures from guys you're gonna be super mad right I'm used to it so I get I just I just I had to get used to it quick I didn't want to be like I didn't want to make that any more of a deal than it already was for Gabrielle so I just kind of like like sat back and was like all right I'm just gonna accept this for what it is I can't control the internet okay I'm not naive I'm not gonna like pretend I have any say in like what people do but it's just hopefully I can give some 
guidance and be like, you should not be doing that. You really shouldn't. You should you should really figure yourself out, figure out what else. Like, we got all these good games. We got Apex, we got Fortnite. If you're, if you're insane, we have PUBG, okay? We got all these games. Why, why are you bored enough to be doing this? Man, you got better things to do, I promise. And she doesn't like it. She doesn't want to be checking her DMs, looking for fans to respond to, and she's got to, like, filter through all these creepy people. Like, no one appreciates that. That's just strange and bizarre. And no one wants to deal with that. Like, I don't understand how you wouldn't be able to, like, pick up on that and like fortunately when she gets like a picture from a dude she just doesn't even look or maybe she does you know maybe she's crazy and freaky I don't know I don't know what she's doing but I don't think she looks at it that doesn't seem like the type of thing Gabriel would do but I would just ask that you reconsider sending these types of pictures to not only my girlfriend but to every other girl because it's for one it's really disrespectful it's really disrespectful it's 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 like you're it's just very disrespectful. You shouldn't be doing that. It's creepy, it's strange, makes everyone uncomfortable. And like, imagine if Gabriel was just like, all right, screw it. I'm gonna screenshot this and like expose this guy. Like, you'd be ruined forever. You'd be ruined forever. Like, because it's these guys won't. It won't even be like. It won't even be like a fence to put like an account, like a fake account or like a meme account. It'll be like their legitimate account. Like, you can like go and see what school they go to and stuff. And I'm like, dude. What are you doing? Like, imagine, like, I, 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 what I'd like to do is screenshot it and then just DM it to a bunch of people that they're following or have liked their pictures, just let it go. Just, like, let it do its thing, ignore it for the rest of my life, but just understand that that caused a lot of turmoil. Maybe I'll start doing that, and then I'll make a video of the reactions of people doing that because I feel like that's a, that's a, that's a yin and the yang. That's fair game. You know, you send that to my girlfriend. I have every right to screenshot it and then send it to other people who you've honestly probably already sent pictures to so maybe it won't be too surprising but it might be funny um, but yeah I would just ask that you rethink what you're doing understand that that's disgusting um, and you shouldn't be doing that dude you really shouldn't but that was my little rant I haven't done a rant in a long time on YouTube I, I, I didn't even know if I wanted to do this so I was like is this something I really want to do today on a Wednesday probably not but I don't care I'm gonna do it anyway if you guys Want to support us? We really appreciate it. You guys have been killing it with the crewnecks. We are almost out, and I don't know if we're getting any more because of summertime. I don't think we're going to make any more hoodies or any more crewnecks. And then next year, we'll probably make different ones. So if you guys want to get these types of crewnecks or our hoodies, make sure you check out the link down below in the description. Make sure you also check out our Twitch. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, or at least I hope you enjoyed the vlog before this video. It's, it's, it'd be pretty hard to enjoy a rant, but hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.